Welcome back to Keller Williams Unplugged. I'm Melinda Watson. Today we're going to talk about some of the steps to get ready to list your home. We're going to talk about actually preparing your home to sell. Um, you know, in my opinion, there are three main aspects in selling your home. One is an emotional aspect, a financial aspect, and the physical aspect. We're going to talk about the physical aspect mainly today because that's what everybody wants to know. What do I need to do to get my home ready to sell? You know, the physical aspect is, uh, that's going to take care of things like decluttering and staging and necessary repairs. Make sure that you take care of those needed repairs up front because you, you don't want to wait for the buyer's home inspection, for those things to show up on the buyer's home inspection. It could cost you a lot more money at that time, whether in dollars or maybe even the loss of the sale. So the next thing I want to talk about is decluttering. What is decluttering? In a word, just to rephrase that, it's to simplify. Buyers need to be able to come in and envision themselves living in the home. They need to be able to see their stuff in their home. And if all they can see is your collection of stuff, then they can't envision their things in the home. So, you know, maybe, maybe you've got a collection that's very important to you, very precious to you, but this might be the time to pack that up. You know, think of it as pre-packing. You're gonna be packing it up to move anyway. So it's a good time to get that packed up, get it in storage, and let's simplify the home so that uh, the buyers can envision their things in it. You know, maybe you're not one that has 100 figurines laying around in your, in your living room, but maybe the furniture is, uh, maybe there's too much furniture, or maybe the furniture is too large for, for that room. Whatever the case may be, we'll talk about that and we'll talk about what we need to do to simplify. But why is decluttering so important? There are a few reasons, but the primary reason, in my opinion, is that it makes the room look larger. Or maybe better put, it gives the buyer a true perspective of, of the size of that room. Because too many things in a room can make a room look smaller. So that's very important to, for that decluttering or that simplifying stage. The next thing I want to talk about in the physical aspect is, is staging. Um, let's talk about that just a second. We're, we won't go into details of it, but simply put, staging is to make your home look pleasing to people when they, when they walk in. And then the last thing I talked about was the financial aspect. You know, uh, we're just going to briefly touch on that. There are just some things that you're going to want to make sure that, for instance, all some common sense things, that all taxes are, are paid. Find out what your mortgage payoff is so that we can anticipate, we can estimate. Uh, what, what your bottom, bottom line would be according to what the market value is of the home. And that leads me into this very, very important, important point is to contact a reputable realtor who can give you realistic uh, values, realistic market, market values for today's market. It's a great time to begin the strategy of getting your home sold. Thank you for joining me today and stay tuned for more Keller Williams Unplugged. Melinda made sure that we had a home that suited our needs. She talked to us a lot about, you know, what's a home with teenagers going to need to look like and made sure to pay attention to our future as well as just our current needs. Melinda, if we saw it was going to be easy because she took care of everything. She answered questions before we thought of them. She told us exactly what steps we were going to take. Okay, now this is when we do this, this is when we do that. Melinda would say, send the form, sign here, that's all I had to do. The cool thing about her too is she takes care of business. No question, she is our realtor now.